Well, welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me today, a special day today, we've got uh, Independent Living here this morning, and we've got the CEO, uh, Joyce and uh, Jenny in uh, with the uh, home services portion of uh, Independent Living. Thank you for uh, coming in and joining uh, joining me this morning. Thank, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, First off, just thank you for uh, returning for another another year here for 2018. Uh, we've certainly enjoyed having uh, everybody on from Independent Living. I, hopefully, I think I've almost met everybody. So, <laughs> um, you two are probably the last on the list to meet. So, appreciate you appreciate you coming in and, and doing this with us and great information we've gotten out there. Uh, today, we're going to focus on uh, home caregiving. Uh, and but first, before we start, Joyce, uh, tell us just again a little bit about Independent Living for people who don't know. Sure, sure. And Independent Living is actually a local organization. It started back in 1973. Um, it's a local nonprofit that focuses on seniors and um, individuals with disabilities. And I think what makes us different than other um, organizations that provide caregiving is, is that we actually, what I say, complete the circle in the sense of allowing people to remain independent in their homes in the sense that we provide unskilled services, which is what Jenny will talk about, doing um, caregiving, um, housekeeping, those sorts of services and Meals on Wheels in their home. But then we also do have a Medicare certified home health agency if somebody needs like physical therapy, nursing services, those sorts of things. And then we also do have housing. So, you know, whether they want to remain in their home and get services or if, let's say they wanted to move into one of our housing properties. So we really kind of do it all and we're local. And we've always been local. We aren't part of a franchise. And I think that's what really connects us to the community. So the fact that we do a lot, you know, homegrown, I think really makes this a special organization. Yeah, I've got to say through through the, the, the years that you've been on the show, <laughs> I, I'm amazed on the many of services that you have to offer. Mm -hmm. um, and if you've if you've watched the show or have not seen the show, we've got all those past interviews up there uh, so you can see exactly all the services. Um, it's amazing. And uh, another great one to talk about is the caregiver uh, piece. And Jenny, uh, let's just start with uh, understanding uh, what is a caregiver in the home. Yes, so a caregiver can be a family member taking care of a loved one or a paid staff, which I, is in my department, um, going in and helping clients with activities of daily living or direct cares. Um, so basically, we go into the home and provide home chores, personal cares, meal preparation, med reminders um, in the home. And we're talking, this is gonna be a growing a growing need uh, as we move on. Let's talk about the magnitude of what we're really looking at here is, uh, when we're talking about caregivers. Yeah, we're seeing more and more, as I'm going into the community, um, children helping their parents and more caregiver burnout. So, you know, calling the agency, getting a hold of me, and having my staff come in and help provide respite services will help keep that under control. I think the other thing, too, that we're seeing is, is that people want to remain in their own homes longer. Mm -hmm. You know, and what we're seeing is, you know, people that are maybe, I mean, we're getting people that are coming to us maybe at, in their 90s thinking, maybe it's time for me to move out of their home, whereas in the past, you know, people were maybe thinking about that maybe at a younger age. Mm -hmm. So, and it's just, I think, the change in people. I, mm -hmm. yeah, I would 100% agree mm -hmm. with that, that mm -hmm. even in my own uh, own experiences, mm -hmm. uh, it's it rings mm -hmm. true uh, very much. Um, what are some of the characteristics of those who are most successful in the role uh, as a caregiver? Um, so as I'm hiring for a caregiver, I'm looking for somebody that's trustworthy, honest, dependable. Um, they have to have a lot of patience going into the home, helping the clients. It's really important. Um, and then being compassionate as well are huge as I'm hiring for caregivers. And uh, I think this one's, this is a great question here, is, is what's the difference between in-home um, uh, in home caregiver versus assisted living caregiver? Yep, so my staff going into the home, it's more one-on-one, -on -one, so it's more personable. Um, the clients look forward to my staff coming in to the visits and helping them. Um, they build professional relationships with boundaries. Um, when you go into an assisted living, you're providing cares to more than just that one person. Yeah, so kind of more personable yep. uh, experience mm -hmm. uh, working with an in-home caregiver. Uh, well, let's talk about some of the duties that the caregivers are, are helping out with. Mm -hmm. So that would be the, the showering, the bathing, dressing, med reminders, meal prep. 
Um, I also focus on a lot of range of motion, um, exercising with every visit. So that's really important as well. Um, the biggest thing is that all of our clients live safe and they live independent in their homes. And that visit, my staff going in, reassures them that they're gonna be okay in their home. I would uh, expect that maybe some of um, some of the clients probably don't get visited on a regular basis, so it's kind of mm -hmm. nice to have right. have this person uh, stop mm -hmm. in and, and check on them. Yeah, even companionship. I have some clients go in just for safety checks for a one-hour visit, and it's huge. It makes a big difference. That's uh, that's incredible. And you said uh, how many staff did you say you had on about twenty-eight? Uh, that's mm -hmm. that's impressive. So yeah. uh, it's a. Uh, I'm always looking. Oh, I'm always, oh, always, let's start always, the recruiting. You always, betcha. Yeah, exactly. always looking exactly. for yep, good good caregivers. Um, mm -hmm. uh, any any specific characteristics uh, that you would, would be looking for uh, in those caregivers? Time commitment. No, anything. I work around all of my my caregivers' schedules. So if they come to me, they tell me what they're available to work. Um, the biggest thing is traveling. We only service Dane County, but if somebody wants to go East Side, West Side, Stoughton then we can, you know, give them hours. Kind so pair them up, make it, yeah, make exactly. it work in their schedule. I, That's yeah, I focus impressive. on a lot of matching in my department mm -hmm. with and clients and staff. And as you mentioned off the top, I mean, the, the service, the additional services that you have to offer too, right. the, the caregiver can probably make that connection. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing, you know, when Jenny goes in and meets a client for the first time and, you know, pretty much goes in and does an assessment, she's not just going in if the, you know, let's say the family member or a discharge planner from the hospital mm -hmm. will call and, you know, ask for Jenny to come out and maybe start services. She's not just going in and signing them up for, you know, personal care or whatever. Right. She's actually actually doing like a complete assessment mm -hmm. to make sure that the home is safe you know do they have a lot of throw rugs right. could that be a trip hazard you know is there something else that mm -hmm. we could help them with meals, you know yeah. right meals, could yeah. evening meals on wheels assist them mm -hmm. you know things like that um, home modification could right. grab bars assist them you know and that I think is what actually helps our organ makes our organization special also mm -hmm. the fact that we can provide those services right. and help the you know help the person remain independent mm -hmm. and Jenny does a really good job with the clients you know mm -hmm. helping Helping the family and you know making right. them aware of those services that we can help them with or next the next step right yeah. right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well all good information I wish I could keep your keep <laughs> yeah. you here and uh, keep the conversation going but uh, let's just wrap up here real quick uh, anybody interested in learning anything about uh, uh, independent living what how can we get a hold of you guys Sure, they can call Independent Living at 274-7900, or you can visit us online at www.independentlivinginc.org. Um, or, you know, I guess you can email us also mm -hmm. at intake at independentlivinginc.org. Perfect. And as a reminder, there, again, uh, we've had uh, you folks on now for uh, quite a while. We have a lot of... Uh, a lot of tips that you've shared with us. Mm -hmm. uh, you can check back on those past uh, episodes uh, through our website, through your guys' website mm -hmm. as well. I saw some of the links posted right. up there. So uh, check them out at Independent Living. Uh, Joyce uh, and Jenny, thank you so much for coming out. Appreciate it. Stay warm out there. <laughs> and uh, uh, thank you for all the great work that you've done for the community. Well, thank you thank so you much. Thank you for having us. All right, perfect.